Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In today's world having everyone attention is the most important things. As you can look around yourself everyone is fighting to gain your attention. And the most powerful way to gain everyone's attention is through manipulation. So we are going to start a series on which we will tell you how manipulation works. What are the different types of manipulation? And most importantly how to protect yourself from getting manipulated. So let's start. Today I want to talk about a manipulation technique that is very common and very dangerous, fearmongering. Fearmongering is the act of deliberately spreading or exaggerating information that causes fear, anxiety, or panic in order to influence people's behavior or opinions. Fearmongering can be used by politicians, media, advertisers, cult leaders, or anyone who wants to manipulate others for their own agenda. Fearmongering works by exploiting our natural tendency to avoid threats and seek safety. When we are scared, we are more likely to follow someone who promises to protect us or solve our problems. We are also less likely to question the validity or accuracy of the information that causes fear, or to look for alternative sources or perspectives. Some examples of fearmongering are, a politician who claims that a certain group of people or a certain policy is a threat to the nation's security, economy or values, and that only they can save the country from disaster. A media outlet that sensationalizes or exaggerates negative news stories, such as crime, terrorism, disease, or natural disasters, and uses emotional language, images, or music to create a sense of urgency or danger. An advertiser who creates a problem or exaggerates an existing one, such as aging, weight gain, hair loss, or bad breath and then offers a product or service as the only solution. A cult leader who convinces their followers that the world is ending soon, and that only they have the truth and the way to salvation. Fearmongering can have serious consequences for our mental and physical health, our relationships, our society, and our democracy. Fearmongering can make us feel stressed, anxious, depressed, angry, or hopeless. It can make us distrustful of others, especially those who are different from us. It can make us isolate ourselves from our friends and family, or join groups that reinforce our fears. It can make us lose our critical thinking skills and our ability to make informed decisions. It can make us vulnerable to exploitation, abuse, or violence. So how can we protect ourselves from fearmongering? Here are some tips. Be aware of your emotions. Fearmongering triggers strong emotional reactions that can cloud your judgment. If you feel scared, anxious, or angry after consuming some information, take a moment to calm yourself down before you act on it. Be skeptical of the source. Fearmongering often comes from sources that have a hidden agenda or a bias. Check the credibility and reputation of the source. Look for evidence and facts that support their claims. Consider their motives and interests. Are they trying to inform you or influence you? Be curious about other perspectives. Fearmongering often presents only one side of the story or one possible outcome. Seek out different sources and viewpoints that challenge your assumptions and beliefs. Compare and contrast the information you receive from different sources. Look for nuance and complexity. Be proactive about your well-being. Fearmongering can make you feel helpless and hopeless. Instead of giving in to fear, take action to improve your situation and your environment. Seek help if you need it. Connect with people who support you and share your values. Engage in activities that bring you joy and meaning. Remember, Fear is a natural and useful emotion that alerts us to potential dangers and motivates us to act. But fear can also be manipulated and exploited by those who want to control us. Don't let fearmongering rob you of your power and your freedom. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. See you next time.